Okay, so Lucas numbers are named after a guy called Edward Lucas, although he was French, so Luca, but I'm going to say Lucas because I am lazy. And if it wasn't for Luca, Lucas, we, we wouldn't really care about Fibonacci because Fibonacci did some things. He wrote those numbers down, didn't generalize them, didn't analyze them. He did introduce some interesting, you know, number systems to Europe and he did some other cool bits and pieces. But these were more of a footnote to the story of his life. And then Luca went, hey, these are really interesting. And he's the guy who promoted them. And he came up with his own sequence, which is better than the Fibonacci numbers. And you think, well, okay, if Fibonacci starts 1-1, one, one, what is our next option? So Fibonacci starts 1-1, one, one, and then it goes 2, and then 3, and then 5, and then 8, and then 13, and then onwards. Well, what if we start, instead of starting 1-1, one, one, what if we start 1-2? But we can't start 1-2 because we're just starting here. All we've done is move along slightly, and, and so we're going to get the same numbers if we start 1, 2. Lucas numbers, you start 2, 1. So you just swap them around, and then you repeat exactly the same pattern. So 2 plus 1 then gives us uh, 3, and then we get 4, and then you get 7, and then you get 11 and 18, and these are the Lucas numbers. And to my mind, this sequence of numbers is far more interesting than the Fibonacci sequence of numbers. And these have a stronger link to the golden ratio. So if you take the golden ratio, uh, phi, which is you know, equals 1.61803398, another nine, so on. Okay, right, so we know for any of these sequences, they're gonna approach that ratio. But what if we start with the ratio? What if we wanna take the ratio and then get a sequence of numbers. So if you calculate phi squared, phi squared equals 2.6180, uh, so on, which if you round to the nearest whole number is three. So I'm approximately, okay, so I'm gonna do this column as rounding to the nearest whole number. If you do phi cubed, phi cubed equals 4.23606, so on, which if you round that to the nearest whole number is four. Phi to the four is 6.85410, so on. Round to the nearest whole number, seven. Pi to the five. And if I carry on and take each of these and round them to the nearest whole number, what do I get? Sure enough, these are the Lucas numbers appearing up here. And that will carry on all the way down. Every power of the golden ratio rounded to the nearest whole number gives you the Lucas numbers. And so that's not the fact that the Fibonacci numbers are linked to the golden ratio in a way that every other similar sequence is. If you start with the golden ratio and then take powers, because what you're doing is you're multiplying each term by, the golden ra by that ratio to get the next term, which is that wonderful property everyone bangs on about. But this is, these are the numbers it generates if you start with that and then go to the sequence. And that's why I think the Lucas numbers are vastly superior. I've been very careful, I've never said Lucas sequence which is a very good point, uh, because Lucas sequence is, is, well, it's a family of other things. So Lucas did some amazing research into all the weird properties you get from some of these uh, various sequences. And uh, this, these numbers were just one specific example of a Lucas sequence, but they're the most uh, common one and the most famous one, which is why they're then called the Lucas numbers. But there are all sorts of amazing things you can do with these numbers. You can, uh, everything from obviously wonderful ratios, but you can use them to test if a number is prime, and I mean, there's a whole amazing area of math. Look up Lucas sequences, there's some incredible stuff in there. One thing about this that strikes me though is like, we often talk about how mathematics is very precise and perfect in this great thing. This sequence does, does match, but it only matches by kind of roughly rounding, and it seems like each time it kind of slightly misses the target, but it misses by such a small amount that it doesn't matter. This doesn't seem very much like a lot of other, a lot of the other mathematics I see, it seems kind of a bit fuzzy and almosty. I think rounding, people, you know, rain hate on rounding because I think that's because you do it at primary school and, and people view it as maths you did very early on and very simple. And th there's a kind of a false, com like uh, people link mathematics with unnecessary precision. And they link mathematics with doing things that are pointless and over the top. And so for some reason, one of the first things people will do when they're learning math at, at high school and they want to look smart is write down unnecessary number of decimal places, right? Because they think, well, it's more massy, the more, the more numbers you write down, obviously the more maths we're doing. And I think it's a shame. There's some amazing things that drop out of rounding. And so I, I think it's nice that the Lucas numbers, you, you do get these wonderfully precise answers out of the powers, then you round to the nearest whole number. And that's where the beauty is. I, I like that.
8,229 plus 17,399 equals 45,620. So I'll do it for a few of these and you can zip through it, obviously. So is this the Brady sequence? 8, this is the Brady sequence. So these are, we're going to call these the Brady numbers. 